Hi guys, Mr. New Mobile here. Galaxy Tab 7 and Galaxy Tab 7 Plus Best Experience Please subscribe followed by the bell You can also keep up on Facebook, Twitter by clicking the links in the description The Samsung Galaxy Tab S7 and Galaxy Tab S7 Plus represent the cream of Samsung's tablet crop These slates which share most features other than the screen and battery size are meant to entice mobile pros with their high refresh rate displays, premium materials, and build quality, and powerful performance but do these tablets go far enough to take a bite out of Apple's tablet supremacy Samsung aimed high and hit the mark with the Tab S7 and S7 plus the design of the Tab S7 bears more than a passing resemblance to Apple's iPad Pro. Thanks to the flat side edges, the size, and basic shape of the screen, and even the button speaker, and port placement the hardware looks and feels great some might call them copycats, though they are clear upgrades to last year's Tab S6 unlike today's phones, which rely on lots of glass, the bulk of the S7 S chassis is aluminum the sides have a polished chrome-like look, while the metal rear panel is flat in both shape and finish the materials are top-notch and fitted together perfectly I'd call the smaller Galaxy Tab S7 compact and slim, as well as comfortable to tote around at 1.1 pounds, 500g, the 12.4-inch Tab S7 Plus is less easy to use, it feels huge, and is weighty to a small degree at 1.27 pounds, 575g, there are lots going on around the outer edge the top edge of the tablet, when held sideways, holds the screen lock power button, volume toggle, SIM slash memory card tray, and microphone I particularly like that the power button has a built-in fingerprint scanner, 11-inch model only. This serves as a good backup for the facial recognition feature should you choose it was quick to program and convenient to use I wish the larger model had a fingerprint reader, to the USB-C port is on the right edge speakers grills are visible near the four corners the bottom houses the pogo pin connector that is used to power the keyboard accessory basically, it has everything but a headphone jack on the back you'll notice the slightly raised camera module in one corner and a dedicated magnetic strip for the S Pen stylus the S Pen adheres to the magnetic strip strongly enough, but I'd still worry about losing it were the pair tossed into a backpack thankfully, the optional keyboard accessory includes a protective flap for the S Pen the 11 and 12.4 inch tablets use different base screen technologies the Tab S7 relies on an LCD panel while the bigger slate is gifted with a Super AMOLED screen both offer a 120Hz refresh rate for smooth operation, I found the screen of the Tab S7 to be bright and sharp the LCD looked excellent and offered solid contrast when compared to the larger AMOLED display of the 12.4 inch model viewing angles were very, very good the 16-10 aspect ratio strikes a nice balance between tablet and laptop. Friendly use the display of the larger tablet is simply stunning in every way the 120Hz panel means content on the screens looks exceptionally smooth whether I was browsing the web, watching Netflix, or playing games, the screens exhibited a liquid flow that's easy to get used to I wish the glass was less reflective and less prone to collecting fingerprints, but these are common complaints about modern touch panels combining the high quality hardware with the luscious LCD and Super AMOLED. Displays means the Samsung Galaxy Tab S7 and S7 Plus are a pair of sultry slates that are easy to desire there's no questioning the performance of the Tab S7 and S7 Plus with Qualcomm's fastest chip on board. The tablets are processing beasts Samsung lent us the model with 6GB RAM and 128GB storage even though we feel 6GB of RAM is the minimum needed for today's top Android devices. We found it caused no performance issues here the tablets ran a handful of benchmarking apps with no trouble, scoring in the top percentiles and showcasing smooth performance. Across the board more to the point, in daily use I didn't notice any stutters, lagging, or frame drops these things are top performers. Whether you're battling Fortnite or an Excel spreadsheet Samsung promises the Galaxy Tab S7 and S7 Plus will deliver between 14 and 15 hours of battery life while watching the video, and that's what they delivered I was only able to get the tablets to cycle through battery life a few times over the course of a week, but they always managed at least 14 hours, which outlasts the iPad Pro by several hours the 8000 mAh, 11 inch, and 10,090 mAh, 12.4 inch, batteries do take some time to charge the tablets support charging it up to 45w but they ship with a paltry 18w charger that's aggravating i found the tab s7 needed more than three hours to charge fully from dead while the s7 plus required close to four hours samsung could have at least included a 25w charger in the box it's best to leave the tab s7 and tab s7 plus charging overnight the tablets
don't offer any other fancy charging features, such as wireless power share for accessories the tablet ships with Android 10 and Samsung's latest 10-based One UI, version 2.5 It's a shame Samsung didn't have Android 11 ready to go in time, though it is already beta testing Android 11 and One UI 3, Samsung hasn't said how quickly the tablets will receive Android 11, One UI 3 but it will likely be a few months the software experience is a mixed bag android tablets often deliver an achingly awkward experience but samsung has smoothed over some of the rough spots you can use the tablet just as you would a smartphone particularly one such as the galaxy note 20 ultra the tab s7 and tab s7 plus carry over all the software features of the new note 20 line which means you have noted that sync across devices as well as various stylus based activities not all apps are optimized for android tablets and it continues to be the linchpin that fails the Tab S7 and Tab S7 Plus over N. Over Samsung optimized its own apps for the tablet, sure, but the majority of Android apps simply don't adjust well to the landscape orientation which leaves them looking and behaving in unpolished ways that detract from the experience top-notch hardware only gets your product so far things start to fall apart for the Tab S7 and S7 Plus when you dig deep enough into the software then there's DeX. DeX is Samsung's Windows-like desktop environment that is more conducive to productivity the main feature of DeX is that you can run multiple apps at a time in separate windows however, the windows aren't the easiest to manage, particularly like DeX for work time it's simple enough to master and is just powerful enough to let me get work done as though I was using a full computer that said, it's no Chrome OS, nor is it Windows it's limited. And sometimes apps don't know how to behave DeX can also cast to other screens for more real estate be it a monitor or TV set, via HDMI and now. Wirelessly I found the wireless option didn't work with my older Samsung TV, a trusty old HDMI cable worked just fine I don't see too many road warriors packing these cables though, and don't expect too many people to be making use of the casting ability the good news here is that it's easy to toggle between the normal Android experience and DeX, this almost gives you the impression you have two tablets, which makes it easy to separate work from play still, the app experience for Android. Tablets simply can't hold a candle to the iPad unlike then Apple iPad Pro, or any iPad for that matter. The Samsung Galaxy Tab S7 and Tab S7 Plus actually ship with an S Pen stylus. This is a full-sized stylus that looks and feels like a legit pen. Samsung revised the S Pen compared to the one that accompanied last year's Tab S6. I found the shape and materials comfortable to hold and use over time, and the button worked well the S Pen slaps up against a magnetic strip on the back of the tablet. Where it is easily jarred loose the S Pen has access to the entire suite of software that's found on the Note 20 Ultra smartphone that means the new and advanced Notes app, as well as screen, write live messages, AR doodle, and translate these are all accessed via a sidebar menu that floats along the right. Edge of the screen the S Pen supports the new Air actions as well which lets you go back to a screen or take a screenshot by drawing squiggles in the air. While holding the button down it takes practice to get these right, and I'm not entirely sure they're useful the Samsung book cover keyboard is absolutely necessary to complete the experience of using the Galaxy Tab S7 for starters. It provides a protective shell for the tablet I wouldn't want to carry the tablet around without one the rear. Piece adheres to the metal back panel magnetically it includes a kickstand as well as a flap for protecting and accessing the S Pen the other half of the book cover connects to the bottom edge you have to take care to align the pogo pins correctly. But once it's locked into place it stays firmly attached, I like this year's book cover keyboard much more than I did last year's the keys are a more natural shape, and have good travel and feedback more importantly, the trackpad works really well it's relatively large, quick, and accurate it features a dedicated button for taking screenshots, which I appreciate, but there are no function keys for changing the display brightness or speaker volume on the keyboard for the 11 inch model for what it's worth. The book cover keyboard for the larger 12.4-inch Tab S7 Plus model does include function keys together. The S Pen and book cover complete the Galaxy Tab S7, giving it the productivity chops it needs to take on the iPad it's a shame the books. Cover isn't included, and that it costs so much more the smaller book cover is $200, while the larger one is $230 the only saving grace is that, for a short time. Samsung is offering the keyboard for 50% off when ordered with a new Galaxy Tab S7 or S7 Plus Samsung copy and pasted the camera app from its smartphones to the Tab S7 it's a robust app that actually includes a lot of shooting modes, including single take, live focus, panorama, hyperlapse, and so on I found the app open swiftly and was quick to focus and take pictures the results leave a bit to be desired the biggest issue I saw was a noise, which is prevalent whether you're shooting in good conditions or not granted. 
using tablets for photography still appears to be taboo it's one of those cameras that's nice to have in a pinch but i can't imagine most people will use the main shooters for anything other than spur of the moment shots the samsung galaxy tab s7 and s7 plus come in myriad configurations you can order up as much ram and storage as you want and toss in lte slash 5g for good measure I think the base price for each tablet is reasonable it's probably worth the $80 upgrade to bump the RAM to 8GB and storage to 256GB which's a no-brainer the real stinger is the cost of the LTE model versus what you're getting it's limited to the lower RAM slash storage combo, which doesn't make much sense more importantly however, is the added cost of the book cover adding $200 to the price of the tablet is no laughing, matter there is value there, sure, but it is painful as I noted earlier, right now Samsung is offering the book cover at half price when ordered with the Tab S7 I strongly suggest you take advantage of that deal while it's available the Samsung Galaxy Tab S7 and S7 Plus have more competitors than you might think in the premium tablet space, there is the iPad Pro, which more or less owns the category the iPad Pro is still the most dominant tablet, and deservedly so it has the app experience that most people want, but Apple's hardware is expensive some might consider the Huawei MatePad Pro, but the software story there is even more concerning while the hardware is top-notch, the MatePad doesn't have access to the Google Play Store, and app selection is limited then there is the Microsoft Surface family of tablets the story there is similar to the Samsung Galaxy Tab S7 you have to get the keyboard for the tablet to be of any real use the Surface is expensive but it is high quality and offers a full version of Windows the Samsung Galaxy Tab S7 and Tab S7 Plus are two of the highest quality Android tablets you can buy there's no question that these slates are appealing as far as the hardware is concerned with excellent craftsmanship, the metal chassis and stunning displays are something to lust over performance is best in class, and battery life is absolutely stellar the cameras leave a bit to be desired. But that's par for the course on a tablet Samsung's own apps look and function great on the Tab S7 and S7 Plus, but the majority of Android apps fall a bit on their face. Well guys I really heard a better experience with Tab 7 Plus, and I wish like sharing more quality these tabs have. And if you are new here please subscribe, like the video, comment thanks for watching see you on my next video one peace out.